going to talk about a normal situation that was taken care of in an abnormal way. First Samuel chapter 1. It's a very familiar passage. And at your leisure, you can read over it. But first Samuel chapter 1. And we're going to begin at verse 4. And I'm going to be reading out of the King James Version Bible. Amen. If you guys say amen, if you need me to hold on to it, Amen. 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 Verse 4. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Benanah his wife and to all her sons and her daughters portions. Everybody read verse 6 together. And her adversary also perverted her sword for to make her fret because the Lord has shut up her womb. Look to your neighbor and the title of this message is I Need My Adversary. I Need My Adversary. And then you may take your seats. You know, sometimes we look at the facts about the adversary and we say, oh, the devil, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. But sometimes it takes an uncomfortable situation to shift you all right, all right now. out of your comfort zone. All right now. And sometimes God will say, okay, how bad do you want it? Come on, come on. See, we serve God, you know, sometimes he just like to glow in his own stuff, you know. Yes. And you want to look, how bad do you want me to bless you? Uh -huh. How bad, how long are you willing to deal with what you got to deal with until I come in and change the situation? Yeah. So in this, in this, Elkanah was married to Peninnah and to him. And Elkanah gave Peninnah, his wife, one of his wives, a portion. What do you name say? A portion. A portion. But unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion. Gave her portion. I'm sorry that she had multiple children. But Hannah didn't have any children. So, but yet he gave her a worthy portion. For he, what, loved him. Sometimes when you are faced in different situations, you know, like that person at your job, that you just like, Lord, if you could just remove this thorn from my side. Because if that sister say one more thing to me, or if that brother do one more thing, Let me touch home, you know. I'm saying y'all might be a little too deep. Amen. Let me come down your row. If you're in the church. Hallelujah. And there's someone that has just struck your ever loving nerve. Yes, 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 yes. Has just been rude to you, disrespectful. Mm -hmm. See, I can talk it because I experienced it. Uh -huh. And God had to shut my mouth. Uh -huh. Because there was more in it than what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Amen. There was an adversary there to do either two things, to kill me or to, to help me live. That's All right. right. That's right. Amen. It only can pre present to you the seed. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to direct it. Come on now. The seed can be presented to you in the most negative way. But you serve a God that has the ability to turn every negative situation into a positive. That's right. That's right. We heard that song, God meant it for my good. So even in this, Hannah wanted a child. She wanted one badly. Yeah. And can you imagine that every time that Ben and all got something from both of them, both of them had the same husband. And he comes and he gives her all of these things. And, and here is, 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 is Pentecost. She's teasing him. Ah, look what he got me. Look what he got me. What did you get? You don't even have any children. Can you imagine being dealt with that in your own home day after day and night after night? All right. Now, can I be real? Be real. She got emotional. Yeah. Because that hurts. But it didn't kill him. Amen. 
Because Penelope just didn't know that she was being used in the negative way for an outcome in the positive. Come on now, man. You know how they did Jesus? They went to them all night long, uh -huh. spit on them. That's right. Huh? They pierced them. You remember that? Uh-huh. But everything that happened to Jesus, the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission of sin. Uh -huh. I would not be able to go and get on my knees and say, Father, forgive me, Lord, for sinning. So even in this, Hannah had an issue. She had an adversary. And so it all continued and continued and continued. And as you read further down, you will see that after a while, Hannah messed around and got the spirit. Okay. Look to your baby and say, I got you, honey. Sometimes you got to tell that adversary, I expect for you to show up, but you will not win this because I got you. How many of you have seen, uh, why did I get married to play? The second phase, when she was talking about, uh, when Trina was talking to her about some crazy stuff, and she said, okay, play with the Satan, I got you. And so 
here, and all that, she teased it. A serious thorn. A serious thorn. See, you can be bullied in school, but see, you can leave school. That's only a part-time day. You can get home and day five. Then you got a weekend and you got summer. But you got the adversary living in your house. Come on now. 